So this time we are going to deploy our Angular application into GitHub Pages. Um, so this process, we're not really using the Docker file we made last time. Instead, we are going to use GitHub Actions and we will build our static We'll build our static Angular file and then that will be deployed to our GitHub page. So in order to use GitHub action, we have to create a directory dot GitHub slash workflows. And inside this directory, we have to specify a workflow YAML. And here I am going to copy the code that I have. Okay, so we have to define the workflow YAML and I have I, I already have it written so I'm just gonna copy and paste and explain one by one. So the name is just uh, your workflow name. Uh, branches means like on which branch when it's push you're gonna trigger that. So I'm using the master branch for my github repo master branch so I have to specify I'm going to use the master branch and this is the image that I want to use to do the jobs running. And I am adding this so that I can use node 14.17. And next, um, this checkout stage, I believe it's mm, kind of copying all the, um, um, the source codes here on the repo. And the next stage would be installing and building. So it has to work on the angular-crash-2021. And it would execute the install to install the packages and to run build and copy this um, index to 404. This is kind of optional. So in case it doesn't find index, it will redirect to 404, but it's, it's basically the same file. And the last stage deploy, it's using a predefined um, GitHub page deploy action so that um, once the file is built, it will detect or check this folder name and copy this folder into your GitHub GH pages branch. So introduce this, my JSON server. This is a um, fake mimic JSON server on GitHub. It If you save a db.json file in your main branch, it will make a fake JSON server for you. So for instance, this demo, we can see that the JSON response is coming from this URL. But um, uh, if you create a DB file inside your GitHub, yeah, if you create a DB file inside your main branch or master branch, db.json file, then it will make a uh, JSON, fake JSON server for you. So I'm going to copy this db.json into the root directory. It's the same db.json file. And I am just going to add this db.json. And I will push that and see what happens. So once I push, I have this db.json in my root directory. And the way I can access this um, uh, server, fake server, is by going this directory, this URL slash user repo. Uh, for my case, it would be tasks. Um, yep, let's copy this. And Instead of your username, my username is tjmoon0104 and my repo name is demo docker angular. So if you do that, we can see there's a fake JSON server that has been created. Um, the reason why it's fake is because any update you apply to this URL wouldn't be reflected. For instance, if we added another task, uh, it wouldn't be updated on the server because it's basically just loading the static file from here. So if you want to make any changes, you would have to commit and push new changes to this db.json file. 
So now that we have a new URL for our API URL, I am going to copy this and go to my source file, source environments, and I would like to define a new environment. And I want to name that as GitHub environment.github.ts. So for for GitHub API URL, I am going to copy this guy here, paste, and save. So when I execute a uh, build with the configuration of GitHub, I will use this API instead of all the local host and stuff. So that is good. Now we have to specify the build file. Um, we have to specify a new configuration for the GitHub. And the way I'm going to do is go to angular.json. And here you can see there's a configuration for production. Um, but uh, I would like to make a new one. So first of all, I'm going to copy this and paste. And I'm going to name it GitHub. And here you can see replace environment with instead of dot product, I'm going to do GitHub and save that. Okay. And so if you use the configuration for GitHub, now that we're going to use the environment from environment.github.ts. So that is good. And now we have to specify one more here. We want to have a um, separate build command for GitHub build. So I'm going to name that gh build. And here, instead of doing ng build, we have to use the command slash slash configuration GitHub which means that we will use the configuration from here, this GitHub, so we can use the GitHub environment. And then one more thing, we have to add a base perf. Uh, the reason why we have to do it is because your GitHub page by default is going to give you a URL of um, something like this, github.io and your repo name here. So it will start with this URL address. So you have to add this to your base herf so that it doesn't go to your root URL. So oops, not this. I just need the repo name. Uh, my repo name is demo docker angular. So um, slash demo docker angular run gh build and should be working okay so that's good and I save this as well and that's it we don't have to touch any nginx stuff because we're not dockerizing we're not using docker at all for this part, we're just using the GitHub Actions. So I believe all the config files are done. I would add everything, and this would be GitHub Actions, GitHub Page Build and Deploy. Okay, so it seems like it is building. It is um. Okay, so the lock shows that my install and build stage has been successful and the deploy 
seem to work. So now on our branch GH page, we should have all the static file. And here we have the index and so on. So I think we're good to see our page. But before that, we have to go to our pages. And you have to enable that uh, you use this GH page as your source. And save. And my site should be ready to be shown. But uh, it's going to take a bit of time. It's and if we go on this environment, we can now see our task tracker working. And the tasks seem to be loaded properly. But uh, as you can see, if we refresh, it will load the um, static db.json from here. So unless there's any change, every time you refresh, it's going to be the same as these parameters. Even if I delete them, refresh, same thing. That's because we specified our backend API, API URL to this URL, my JSON server, blah, 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 blah. Double click here, we get that. It is never going to change. It's just static JSON response. But uh, all the requests is probably going to be sent properly. Yes, we see this um, post request. And it's shown successful, but uh, the changes are not going to be applied here. So if I refresh, nothing changes, but it's still nice to have that. We can have a working um, web application running on GitHub pages without any hosting fees and so, so on. The front end and back end both working. So that's really nice. You can kind of show this to someone else if you want to. Yeah, I think this is it for this tutorial.